So you don't know what you're doing And the walls are closing in Just remember where we're going And remember where we've been
Well, good morning. What an eventful day or couple of days uh, I have had. So, as you'll have seen at the start of the video, we did some uh, contracting for some local farmers. Got some fertilising done. It was very lucrative. Um, almost about 10,000 per, per uh, contract work. Uh, obviously, we did also have to supply the fertiliser. So, that kind of counteracts that a little bit. But in bigger news as you see the case has broken down so it's on the on the way home the end of the day end of a long day and uh, just big bang engine just completely lost power um, and yeah it's been recovered into the local dealership they're not sure what's wrong with it they're they're gonna have a look for us and let us know so yeah not great there um, but as you can see, we're doing all right for money. So I thought, whilst I'm without a tractor for, for who knows how long, I would do some work on the on the house. Try and get that shed all uh, tidied up. And as part of that, I've decided to uh, come and buy a lawn tractor, or a, a small little lawn mower. So I'll just pop that here, it seems a pretty quiet road. So I've come to see one that was for sale. I think it's one of these houses around here. Uh, advertised online. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, there we go. So I've come to have a look at this. Wow, that's quite, uh, quite a set up on the back. But it has got the deck underneath, uh, which is perfect for us to, to do some mowing. So I have come to buy this. Uh, he wants a thousand pounds for it. I'll see if I can get him down anymore. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's find out. I think it's this house here. Well, there we go. Eight hundred and fifty pounds later, got a bit of money knocked off, and uh, and this is mine. So oh, look at that. It's a nice bit of kit, so hopefully it's it's all in working order. Uh, according to the advert, anyway. Uh, Trap seem pretty pretty reasonable, so I'll get that loaded up onto back of the trailer. So, as you can see in the rear view there, she's strapped on, ready to go. So I'm going to head home and uh, start off by doing some cutting. Going to get the lawn uh, all cut down, get some of that bush uh, all trimmed back. And um, and then, uh, yeah, we've got a skip coming later on. I've booked that to be delivered. And uh, that way we can uh, throw out some of uh, all that rubbish that's in those uh, sheds or, or building out outbuilding I suppose you'd call it and uh, yeah we're gonna get that all tidied up so hopefully we've got somewhere to store the bits of machinery that I've got um, obviously without a tractor at the moment so I'm not too sure what's gonna happen uh, obviously it would depend how much it costs to repair the tractor whether it's worth repairing it uh, or replacing it so um, yeah it's a, it's a disappointment uh, but that is what happens when you buy older machinery well, it can happen with new machinery as well, uh, but you have to take these risks when you're buying old, older things that they're going to go wrong. Um, yeah, wasn't expecting it to happen so soon, but there we go. So, um, in other news, we have had I had someone come in and spray the fields, oh, my field, where the grass is, and also uh, where the canola crop is. So that has been uh, sprayed off the weeds. So uh, that should kill off what's already there and prevent any new ones coming through. So that costs us about £1,000 to have done, which is just one of the necessary expenses. Uh, the sheep are doing well. They're looking good. Um, so, uh, yeah, but we do need to make some hay ready for the winter and think about getting a little shed put up, uh, either up there or back home, uh, to store some bales. All uh, right. Let's go around here. So 
so what I'll do, I'll head back, get this unloaded, and, uh, and then uh, see how much work we can get done. start. Just thought I'd get this bit all cleared up first of all. She runs beautifully, doing a great cut on the grass there, lovely and short. So what I'll do, now I've got that cleared, got all this to do, I'll try and do the verges out the front. I'm going to see if she'll also tackle these uh, bigger bushes here, get that done. And uh, yeah, the only problem I've got at the moment, obviously I can't move this and can't move these two because of the... Now I've got a tractor, but I can get all this mode around it. Should still be able to get this rubbish out of here and chucked into the skip. So we will uh, wait for that to arrive, do some mowing, and yeah, get the place tidied up. That, that'll be the, the afternoon's work. <laughs> something tonight I'll be guessing but I don't really have a case you don't have to mention you just like their attention it's written all over your face I don't want to play the quiet time
good morning. And yes, that is a new tractor you see. Uh, tell you a little about that in a few minutes. Uh, what I'm going to do is just put this away up in the shed. So now that's put away, this is the case of Estrum 120. Uh, the dealership gave me a call uh, and said that they're still working on mine. Uh, mine will be ready for a while. Um, trying to figure out what the problem is, they still don't know what's wrong with it. So they have lent me this on trial. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure I can afford one of these. Uh, definitely not brand new. But we shall see how we get on. They need to do some mowing today. Uh, as you can see, the skip is still here, full of stuff, rubble and dirt and, and rubbish. Uh, they're coming to pick that up later today. Um, just put the trail like this just to block in this little guy for now, make sure nobody steals that. Uh, probably do need to put some sort of hardcore or something down here, because uh, that's digging in a bit. Um, but yeah, it's starting to look a lot tidier, all nicely mown now. So I'm going to go head up to the dealership, see if I can sort out a mower uh, to get my field mown and make some hay. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So I'm up at the shop and this is what I've bought. So although it looks in amazing condition, it is used. Uh, £6,000 this has cost me. Uh, actually, I think it's been an excellent mower for uh, cutting the grass. So we'll, uh, we'll get this hooked up. And uh, go and do some mowing. Right, so I think I'm going to finish up the video here for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed uh, today's episode. Um, we will be looking for another tractor very soon. So that will be a, a big priority. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens in that regard. But thanks very much again for watching today. Uh, please do like, uh, drop us a comment and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like what you watched and want to see more of it. So, until next time, bye bye.